Hey garden friends, it's Destry, welcome back. Hey, today we're doing something a little bit different. I'm gonna take you shopping at a really cool event called the Sweet Salvage Fair here in Eugene, Oregon. My daughter and I spent the day here at the Sweet Salvage Fair and found so many good garden finds. So let's go look around. The first thing I noticed was this really cool flower cart. And again, a lot of the things here are actually thrifted and vintage. And of course they had a lot of spring flowers as well. I thought this glass greenhouse was really amazing and could be so cool for seed starting in a small space. I really liked the kind of Americana theme of this display. It had a lot of red, white, and blue, which is perfect for summer. One thing I noticed a lot of were white vases and pots um, along with the blue and white and then lots of brass findings as well. You can also find some artisan things here. So this was a little dragonfly that was made out of what looked like a, a little post of some kind. Pretty cute. I actually have a friend who has a clothing booth here and these were some of the t-shirts she was selling that day. There was some really cool kind of garden themed ones and summer themes, really fun vintagey graphic tees. I did end up scooping up a couple of these shirts, so I will link her site down below if you're interested in any of these finds. Another thing I noticed a lot of was baskets. This one here was really tall, and this booth I really like. It's very curated. Um, here's some milk glass, some handmade pottery. So what's fun about this fair is that, you know, you don't have to go to the thrift shops and kind of look through all of the unesthetic things. They've gone and picked out the good stuff for you already. These botanical books were really beautiful as well. I'm kind of kicking myself for not grabbing this vase. I thought it was really interesting, the form of it, and really pretty. There was also a lot of wood items, so just really natural textures, wood, clay, glass, really beautiful stuff. I really liked these white lamps on this display. I thought they were really neutral and nice for home decor. This wreath caught my eye. It needs a little color though, so I passed on this one today. There was lots to see on this little bookshelf, including that picture up at the top, which was really cute. I thought this little basket was cute. You could put some plants in it or use it for like a little lantern. I really liked this piece. This person had a lot of nice looking faux plants as well, for those of us that don't have a green thumb. On this shelf, I noticed a frame with some pressed flowers in the background, which I thought was really pretty. Thank you. 
So this booth is actually a local artist. Um, she does these amazing floral paintings, all different things. I thought these strawberries were so adorable. I almost grabbed that. But she had a lot of cool things at her booth. Isn't this little wooden basket with the flowers so adorable? That would look great as a centerpiece. This artist was pretty fun. They had taken old like clothing and kind of modernized it with some different sayings. Um, it looked at maybe like some iron on letters or something. Anyway, it was kind of interesting, but I wasn't here for clothes today. There definitely was kind of a Western vibe here. Um, some earrings, hats, different flannels and things like that. So I saw quite a bit of that at this vintage fair as well. This upcycled heart with the different metal was really cool and I loved this little um, flower basket, this little bicycle. So cute. This fresh flower sign was really neat. It was kind of like a hanger and you could hang plants off of it. Really clever idea. This little garden stake was funny. It said dead weeds. <laughs> you could put that in your garden bed. And look at this birdhouse. It said it was sold already and I loved the sun as well. I really loved this planter. It might have come home with me and these vintage vases were really cool. Really interesting textures and ceramics here. Now these are really fun. They had taken old dolls and kind of made them into planter heads or head planters. And then look at this vintage pink telephone. How cool is that? There was also a lot of country kind of farmhouse style things, lots of chickens and pigs and things like that if you had kind of a country home. This collection of vintage metal watering cans really caught my eye. How cute is this bicycle planter? Again, watching back this video I'm wishing I grabbed some of these things but you only have so much room in the garden right these lanterns were fun too so they had two of these really big urns for 75 each would be really cool planted up with some things and then a few kind of interesting garden statues here I felt most of the pricing today was really fair. Um, again, these are interesting, unique, one-of-a-kind things that you're finding. And so, yeah, I thought most of the pricing was pretty accurate, pretty spot on. This little garden statue seems like he's been around for many years.
check out this rusted out wheelbarrow. We'd be really cool planted up with flowers. And these vintage buckets were really cool too. Here's that other urn that matched the other one. They had a really rough texture to them. Not my favorite, but still kind of neat. This really tall, thin wicker plant stand was cool. And then this booth had lots of kind of dining things. I really liked the color scheme here of the greens and yellows. It was really pretty. Now correct me if I'm wrong, but I think this is an old lampshade that they've turned into a vase. Let me know what you think. Okay, these were super fun. So they had taken seed packets and like decoupage them on these garden stakes. What a fun idea for labeling your garden. And check these out, these shovels that had the different um, decals on them. I thought they were fun too. I like these kind of style of metal cloches to kind of protect my plants in the landscape. However, the ones they had here were kind of on the small side, so I didn't end up grabbing any of them today. This vintage wheelbarrow was really neat, and then they had a really cool bird bath here. It was pretty rustic looking, but could be really beautiful in the right garden. There were so many people here the day we were at the fair and it was a really hot day here. It was one of the hottest days we've had so far this spring. So it was hard to get a lot of footage without people in it, but it was still a really fun day. And guess what? Another vintage telephone. I'm not sure what you do with these, but they seem to be popular. Here's another antique kind of flower cart. So cool. Really love this look of these little chairs with that flower cart. So by this point in the day, we were pretty hot and tired. So we decided to try this ice cream truck. Um, now this one had something called rolled ice cream, which I had never heard of. So I went ahead and filmed the process for you just because I thought it was so interesting. They had this big kind of cold plate um, and the woman is describing how it's done. I've never seen this before. <laughs> Fascinating. So it starts out as like a liquid? Yeah, I make my base, I buy my milk from Lockheed. It's just milk and whipping cream. It's sugar and uh -huh. your base is cocoa powder, not vanilla. Uh -huh. And then um, it goes on the plate, which is minus 22. And then uh -huh. it turns it. Well, it doesn't turn it. Oh my gosh, it's 
so beautiful. Oh my gosh, I love it. I just got home from the Sweet Salvage um, Vintage Festival uh, sale. And so I just wanted to show you, sorry, I'm outside and it's kind of hard to see, but I want to show you a couple things I, I got for the garden, not too much. I thought this was really cute. I hadn't seen a little trellis so small before, so I thought that would be cute to incorporate in some of my um, house plants. And then I did grab this bigger terracotta pot. Now it does have a little um, crack right here, like a little stress mark, but most of it is in pretty good shape and I thought it was really pretty and it was five bucks. So I snagged that. And then I did get one other plant here. Let's see. difficulties okay and here's the other one so very different styles these two but um this one is for indoor plants obviously and i thought it was so cute with those little feet and you guys know i love you know any kind of neutral pottery i think it looks so good and that's what i'm trying to build my collection on so i was really happy with that now it doesn't have a drain hole so i'll have to use it more as a cover pot which is okay because it's a nicer one anyway and I think that one was 10. I think it was at least 10. Um, this one just happened to be, I kind of haggled them down because of the, the crack. Anyway, those were the three things I got. And then of course my daughter and I got toffee and a lot of, you know, we had a lot of fun, but those were the three kind of treasures I brought home from the Sweet Salvage Vintage Fair. So anyway, just wanted to share that with you.